Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop and welcome to my next project which is um, a tissue box uh, ukulele. <laughs> now this, uh, let me just give you the, the backstory of this first of all. Um, a previous customer of mine who's, who's bought a couple of my ukuleles, um, he collects ukuleles, um, he's asked for one to be made for his 10 year old daughter, I think, I think it's his daughter, his daughter or his niece, 10 year old girl uh, who really likes green. Uh, so he originally wanted um, one of the uh, cookie tin uh, ukuleles made, but we suggested um, that the, the cookie tin ones, although they, they look great, they don't generally sound so good, the, the, the tin ones sound tinny, <laughs> strangely enough. So we, we uh, suggested to him that it'd be better made from something from wood, so he agreed. So what we managed to find online was this tissue box. Uh, so it's, it, it's green <laughs> and it's got some designs on it, uh, old sort of racing cars. Not really suitable for a girl, but I, I think, you know, be, because of, it's a cute little box, you know, I mean, 10 year old girls tend to like cute things and I, I, I think it's ideal, to be honest. Um, as a tissue box, it's really well made. You know, you can, uh, this, all of this is uh, leather. It's probably faux leather. And, you know, it's got, got the leather, straps around top and bottom as well even with uh, brass studs in there and they're, they're actual studs they're not just stuck on you can feel them on the inside um, so yeah nice little box it's a tissue box as you can see um, it's got the, the hook and clasp here you know and hinges on the back <clears throat> and as I said for a tissue box it's, it's really well made um, so Inside the box, it's all lined with uh, black fabric, and you know it looks really nice, and um, you know it sort of finishes it all off. However, um, I'm pretty sure that's going to deaden the sound, so I'm going to have to try to remove um, at least from the. This is going to be the top, at least from there, possibly all of it. Depends how well it comes out. Um, so let me just uh, come back to that in a minute. Now, I've also made a start on the neck. Uh, it's very green. <laughs> um, so this is a neck that I'd already had from a, a previous project that I'd taken off. Uh, now this was um, black um, and it had the tuners in it, had the nut on it, the fretboard, you know, so it was a pretty much ready to use neck, but it was all in black. So what I did was with, with my heat gun and um, a scraper blade and I, I used the heat gun to, to heat it up and then you know scraped it off and it took about 15 to 20 minutes to, to get all the black paint off and um, to scrape it cold it would have taken hours <laughs> so I used the heat gun just to go over it for a few seconds until it just started to bubble then scraped it off and I colored this with um, uh, food dye food coloring now, you can see that it's kind of, well, this was a bit of a problem where I, you know, sanded off the, the veneer on the top as well. Um, obviously, you can see the, the different color, but that's not really a problem. Um, but you can see it's kind of, the way I've, whoa, <laughs> the way I've done it, it, it looks like it's aged, you know? It's kind of faded in, in some areas and, and a bit patchy. Um, but that kind of goes with the theme of, of this box. You can see it's meant to look like a, a tin box that's got, you know, rust here and there, and it's, you know, old and worn. So I decided to do the neck in the same kind of vein. Um, so it looks aged, patina, if you like. So that, that's the neck. Now, <coughs> as I said, I'm going to have to remove this nice lining inside. It's a shame because it, it really does look good. It's, it, like I said, it's well made and it was dirt cheap. This was like 200 baht, which is like five pound in real money or, you know, seven dollars or so. So 
cheap, 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 cheap. Um, and it's actually bigger than I was expecting it to be, but it's about the right size for uh, a ukulele. So to put the two together, um, it's going to kind of, let's get that on a good angle, it's going to look like that. Uh, looks pretty good. It's, you know, it, the, the size of the box matches the, the neck quite well, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to look pretty good. Right, so enough waffling. The first thing I need to do really is um, separate the lid from the box to make it easier to work with, and it, it's pretty simple. Just undo the screws from the hinges and everything. So I'm going to make a start by uh, just taking off the hardware, if you like, um, just to, like I say, give myself easier access so that I can see what I'm doing. Um, I, I will put all this hardware back on it and, you know, once it's all together it will all be glued in place so it can't actually be opened. But it's part of the, the look of it, so it needs to go back on. Okay, so I've taken the screws out of the clasp, but it seems to still be stuck on there. I hope it's not glued. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just a bit stuck. So, uh, you can't really see that, but it's no damage there, so that's all good. So let's take the rest of that bit off. Um, <clears throat> so this is going to be quite an interesting project, actually. I'm quite, I'm quite looking forward to this. Um, with the, the neck already made, and this box pretty much ready made. I mean, obviously I've got to modify it. That's no good as a sound hole, it's too big. So I'm gonna to have to do some modification to it, but not a great deal. Um, the customer has also asked me to make it uh, semi-acoustic, so um, acoustic and electronic. So I've got, I've got a plan for what I'm gonna do with that. Um, normally I just use you know pass, passive pickups with a little stick on pads but I don't think that's going to be enough for this this project so I'm going to do something a bit different um, we'll come to that obviously later in the build um, okay so hinges eh, come on don't tear anything please okay that's come off just fine so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting into this project. Um, it's been a while since I made a ukulele, actually. <laughs> Ironically. Okay, last screw coming out. And pop that hinge off. all the hardware off and it's now in two pieces so uh, like I said I want to try to remove this inner lining as nice as it is um, it's not going to be any good for uh, sound on, a, on an instrument so I'm just kind of picking away at the edge there uh, that's coming off really easily <laughs> that's good I shouldn't have said that <laughs> I've only just started it um, yeah, as I said, it is a shame to remove this because it's so nice, but, you know, for a musical instrument, it's no good. You don't want what will effectively be sound deadening material inside your instrument. So yeah, I, I said it was coming off nicely and now it's tearing a bit, but I think it will come off pretty easily. coming off a lot easier than I, than I expected it would to be honest <laughs> but you know th this is the this is the the first process of this job you know just so that I can see what I've got because the this this top it's you know it it's flexible it flexes a lot 
So obviously I'm going to need to sort that out before I, before I go any further really. Because that, that again is, you know, is, isn't much good for an instrument. It's got to be fairly stable, not solid, you know, because it won't, it won't resonate. But it's got to be a bit firmer than that. So I'm, I might be putting braces in it, I don't know yet. Until I've got this lining out, I can't really see what I'm up against. Okay, so it seems to be in separate pieces from the, the top to the side, so that's, that's fine. Uh, just trying to see what kind, of, it says wood, but it is not wood, it's, I think it's actually hardboard. <laughs> which is uh, not ideal, but I, I can do something with it, that's not a problem. Yeah. It looks like the, the, the sides are actually a different material from, from the top part. I think the top is hardboard and I think the sides appear to be like chip. So, <laughs> None of the type of wood you really want to be making an instrument from, but it, it will be fine. I mean, I've, I've made instruments from plywood and from, you know, hardboard and MDF and cardboard and all sorts of things, and they, they generally sound all right. I mean, it's not meant to be a, you know, performance grade instrument. It's basically a toy, really, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a gimmick. Um, and it's for a 10 year old kid, so you know, so long as it, it plays all right, it will be fine. Okay, so that, that's all coming out quite quite well. I mean, I'll probably need to, you know, scrape a few bits and pieces here and there, but on the whole, uh, that's pretty much most of it out already. And it's not too bad. I can, I can work with this, no problem. <coughs> okay, I'm not going to go any further with that at the moment. I mean, it, it's, it's all out, apart from, I mean, there's still bits and pieces, but the, the ends, it's not come out yet, but that's, that's not a problem. I just wanted to see what I'm up against here. And, yeah, I think it's, it's either hardboard or MDF. Um, not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh, okay. So the other thing I need to think about is is uh, you know reducing the size of this hole. Um, I mean the the neck is gonna be here, and uh, I did actually break the end of this fretboard off. There's a like a two inch overlap which goes over the the body there. Um, that's the piece right there that's it's broken off, but it is a clean break and I can fix it back on, that won't be a problem. Um, so that's going to be like that, and then that overlap will go to there. Which means that the, the top of this hole here is more or less in the perfect, perfect position. So what I need to do is, is uh, reduce it so that the hole is kind of like that. So I need to, th this part down here, I need to fill that in. Uh, and I've been, I've been <laughs> losing a bit of sleep a few nights trying to think about how I'm going to do that. And, and it was, yeah, it was even harder to, to figure out once, while I didn't have the box in my hand. This, this arrived uh, this morning, today is Monday. So this arrived this morning, so I've literally, you know, just jumped on it and started to see what I need to do. Um, I do have uh, another box, um, which, uh, which is the, the bottom part of it is, is plywood, but it, it's about the right thickness. Let me just go and grab that, and see if that's going to be of any use to me. So <coughs> this, this is a box from an, another one of my projects uh, and it, it's got the, the plywood back on it and it's about, um, 
I would say about three mil thick. Let me just grab a ruler and measure that quickly. Looks like that's about three mil thick. Uh, one, two, one. Yeah, yeah. So that this panel on the back is about three millimeters thick, which is a little bit thick really for instruments, but. Let me just measure the thickness of the top of this as well. It looks like it's about the same. Uh, quite hard to measure that with a ruler, but... Um, yeah, it looks like it's more or less the same. So... This is just slightly shorter which is which is a bit of a shame because what I would have preferred to do is to literally cover this hole inside here uh, and then remake the hole but the problem with doing that is it's then going to be six millimeters thick now I don't want it that thick this three millimeters is the maximum thickness you'd really want for you know for resonation but resonance <laughs> um, you know as I said the top is very flexible because because it's either MDF or hardboard I'm not sure but it, it's not a solid piece of wood it's not even plywood um, so I need to stiffen it a little bit not too much but like I said I'll probably put braces inside um, so I think probably what I'm going to need to do is is cut out a piece of this uh, just to fill in the hole um, so I would need to cut out a piece to, you know, to fill in like three quarters of it, uh, and then put like um, how can I say, like braces across the back, all the way across, so that it's glued glued on here and here, and onto the piece of wood that I put in there as well. I uh, can't really think of any other way of doing it right now. So that's uh, the initial stage. Um, I'm gonna. I'm going to take this panel off this box and you know do some measuring up and see see what it looks like, um, and you know we'll go on from there. But like I said, this is the very initial stage, um, just sort of making preparations to see what I need to do. Uh, it's quite a long way to go yet, but it's, it, like I said, this is going to be a relatively simple project, really. Um, it's just you know the, the early stage, figuring out a few things that I need to do. And as I said, I've got you know got the lining out of this now. I'll, t I'll get the rest of it out, and uh, you know start to measure things up really and see where we're going. So uh, that's the end of part one. Um, I'm going to get the rest of that lining out. Start you know measuring up a piece of wood. I might I might record part two today as well. I don't know. Just see, see how far I get with that. Uh, see what I'm up against, um, but you know if I come across anything interesting and of, of any interest to this, then I'll make another recording. But uh, we will see. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Um, please look after yourselves, look after each other, and we will see you soon. Peace out.